you are listening to the Rants and Rambles show with your host, Seth Goldstein. Sponsorship provided by A. Weber at aweber.com slash phillytech. Get Flywheel, optimized WordPress hosting at getflywheel.com. Wistia.com at wistia.com. And Zoho Mail. So I'm struggling with the thought of Medium and um, the website medium.com. And um, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's very nicely designed and it's really readable. Um, it's a collection of essays, thoughts. It's like a blogging platform by the founder of Blogger and Twitter, Ev Williams. And I've been a very big proponent over the years of just, I don't know, of you own your own content. You don't put your content up at places that you don't have control over. And so I've been a very big proponent of, you know, build a WordPress blog, put your content there, then then share it out out elsewhere but lately I've been thinking about that whole mantra that I live by and I think maybe a place like medium where there's a huge audience and it's connected to Twitter and it's connected to social media is a great place to publish I mean I don't know the more I think about it the more I feel like I feel like it's it's a good place to get your the voice your voice out there I, but I'm still a firm believer that you need to then put on your blog as well and just, then just have a link at the top saying I originally posted on Medium. Because um, LinkedIn has a similar um, blog posting program as well, which I really like as well. And there's a lot of good engagement on LinkedIn's um, blogging platform as well. And I blog there as well. And I realized that as long as I take my content and put it back on my blog, saying this, this is my content that you can find out elsewhere on the web, I put it back on my blog, I don't rely on LinkedIn to store my content and then be able to give it back to me. I have my own copy of it, and I feel like it's okay. Now, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right by Google standards of saying originally posted on LinkedIn and linking to the LinkedIn post and then putting it on my Seth Goldstein.me site of my writings elsewhere on the web, or if there's a better way of doing it, so if you have a better idea, let me know. Um, But the idea of Medium, the idea of LinkedIn... You're not having to drive your traffic to your site organically or paid, and you're using an existing platform. And I, I can hear people say, oh, what about Blogger? Blogger's a great platform. WordPress.com is a great work platform. The problem with WordPress and Blogger is that you, you're not, you don't own your content. You own your content, but it's less easy to export it out. You don't have as much control on the back end as you do with WordPress.org or you know another you know, Squarespace blog or whatever, but, um, well you do, but, but, and you know, and you're still back at square one. You still have to develop the audience to get found. Whereas on medium, I have a better chance of being found on medium because people can follow me very easily on medium. Um, I guess people can do it on WordPress and blogger as well. I just feel like, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of wordpress.com or, or blogger.com, but, um, WordPress.com mainly, I figure that if you can do it yourself and host it on your own site, you have more, way more control over what you can do. Some people don't want to do that. They just want to on WordPress.com and pay for that. That's wonderful. And WordPress.com, I think, is leagues above Blogger. I don't like the Blogger interface. I don't like how... I don't know. I, I feel like Blogger is good for some things because it's owned by Google. But I also feel like it's... I don't know. I'm a WordPress man. I like WordPress. So if I was going to do a doc you know, WordPress, a blog that was not hosted by me. I do a WordPress.com blog if it wasn't for the LinkedIn area, blogging area, or the Medium area. So, I don't know. I'm putting my content out there. I'm trying to figure out what the best place is to put my writings out. Um, I love to hear what you think. What, what, what platforms do you use? Post your comments below. Um, and let me know what you think because I'm struggling with, you know, where to put content to get found, you know, because if you write, you know, if you write in the woods and no one is there to read it, is it, is, does it exist? Bad analogy, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, you can write, 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 but if no one's going to read it, why are you writing? Unless you're writing for yourself, and then why are you putting it on the web? I don't know. I'm not sure what I think. Post your comments below. I guess this will be another rant or ramble. This will be another ramble episode. Um, so let me know what you think. Take care, guys. Have a great holiday if you don't hear from me. Bye.